Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope you're having a great night. I was not going to be able to make it, but I made it, yay! <laughs> um, so if you guys can hear me and see me, please give me a quick, yeah, Tony, I hear you and I see you in the chat really quickly. And you can also start giving a quick thumbs up. That would be really, really nice of you. If not, it's all good. It's all good. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Donique, I see ya. I hear ya. Great, great, great. Okay, so VIP Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, man. I'd love to he head down to Detroit one day. Hey, all good, Tony. Thank you for the quick feedback, guys. Um, I'm not going to be on for too long, but I wanted to tell you. What's up, Kent? How are you? Hope all is well. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Um, I'm waiting for some products that I picked up. So let's let's like get right into it. Um, C. Braxton says he sees me. So since everybody can hear me and see me really well, I want to tell you the overall master plan. Now, we were playing around with the tank project. How many of you have been following me on this little tank project over the past week or so? Um, if you guys know what I'm doing. What's up, Morgan? What's up, Nelson? All right. Okay, guys. So... We got the tank, we started with a yellow, and that was the major problem. Because when I painted the tank yellow base, um, like a year ago, I, w I had a totally different design in mind. So I went ahead and I started with the yellow as a base foundation. And then I did our, you remember how this thing looked, it was yellow, right? So what we did was we masked the yellow up, and we did this weird octopus looking like graphic on it, as you can see, right? And then, and then we did that live. I actually have way better footage. You gotta see the footage. I will be uploading the actual HD footage on YouTube very soon. Uh, but the VIP guys, you guys are gonna get like more in-depth video of that as well. Um, and I'll just, I'm, I'm gonna upload the whole process. Like this process, I'm thinking of totally scrapping it. I will, I will scrap it, we're not even gonna use it. But um, I'm gonna throw it in VIP anyway so you can see kind of like the goof ups or why I did this, why I didn't do this and why I'm starting all over. Um, so what I did, what I ended up doing was laying, after we did the purple, we cleared it and it was a, it looked really nice at that point. After, what's up JD? After the, the purple and the clear coat, it looked really nice. And then we, we sanded it down with a thousand grit uh, to flow coat. And I've been testing grits, I think anywhere from, I think 800 could be a perfect grit to flow coat over um, because this is 800 here and it, it feels really good. And it looks like, you know, once we put some water on it, I'll show you how it looks. I think 800 is the best grit to flow coat over. Any fine, I wouldn't go any finer than that. I wouldn't go any, uh, when I say finer, I mean I wouldn't go with a higher grade of uh, sandpaper, right? Um, and I'll, I'll throw some water on this quick so you guys can kind of see the gloss. And I'll, I'll just update you on everything on what's going on. So, so this is what it looks like here if it was to be cleared again. Okay. So the problem is... When I, laid, <clears throat> when I laid the pearl coat, so I put a red pearl over in the clear. I mixed it straight in the clear. And I never mixed so much pearl in clear before. Like usually when I mix pearl in clear coat, it's literally like a tablespoon in three quarts of clear coat. Very little, which gives it a nice design, a nice pearl when you're, when you're doing that. But I noticed if you're using just clear coat and you're mixing pearl and you're doing pearl, uh, it doesn't, the purpose of an intercoat, a binder, is to hold your pearl and flake in place, right? It sprays on like a clear, it's literally a clear base coat, okay? Um, DuPont makes a, a brand called Chroma, Chroma Pro, PPG's DBC 500, and House of Color has something called, what's the, what's the number of it? UG150. I posted it the other night at the pub. UG, U, USG, 
um, one fifty or something like that. It's basically a clear intercoat that is supposed to hold your pearl, especially if you're putting a lot of pearl or a lot of flake. It holds it, it binds it in place so it doesn't run and sag. So if we look here, you guys are going to be able to see this a lot better on HD video, but I don't even know if you're going to see this. <clears throat> Like right in here, you can see that there was like a pearl that literally just f broke apart in the clear coat. And if we look down here, you can see some of the, the heavy running. And once I saw that, I was like, ah, screw it. So I just really heavily built on the clear coat. I like loaded it on with clear because I was like, ah, what am I going to do now? Let's just clear it and see what it looks like. And I, and I knew that if you put red pearl over yellow right? It's going to turn orange. And it did turn like an orange, right? Which looks cool. I can, you know, we could continue from here, but ultimately this is not the look that I've been, I wanted to go for. I really wanted to go for a metal flake look. And I should have started with a metal flake look, right? So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why should I settle for less, right? If I'm not happy with it, why should I settle for less? Because what I could do now, like I said earlier on today's live stream, I don't know if some of you guys were on with me a few hours ago, was I said that since it's sanded now, right, I could literally mask up what we have here and leave myself like in a one eighth inch or less line around this, this purple here, right? And look, look what happens when you put red pearl over black. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it actually turned plump. It turned purple. If you got, because initially we did the, <clears throat> the purple base and then we did the tips black. I don't know if you guys remember that. I'm trying to get in the light for you here. And you can see where the black kind of blended in up here. Right. If you remember, I have this on video. So for, you know, this will be on, you guys will see the, the actual footage of this. This is just hard doing a live stream like this, right? Um, it when you put red pearl over a black base coat, it turns this color. This is not, this is not purple paint. This is purple paint up here. This is a purple paint, but then I faded into black and with the red pearl over it, you can see what happens. It actually turned plump. And I learned this trick when I painted my 89 YSR 50 when I was 14 years old. I did, um, I painted a bunch of black accessories on my motorcycle and I said, let me put some red pearl in it. And the freaking thing turned plumb like this. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, that's, that's when I learned that red pearl over a black like that will turn purple and that, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> I could salvage this and do the orange outline. Or since it's sanded now, I can sand it e even flatter to get it flat because I can still feel very little bit of this. Very little, very, very little. H hardly, hardly can feel it. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm just going to say screw it. I'm going to go with a black base coat. Okay, we're going to black base the whole thing. And I just didn't have time. I ran out of reducer. I don't have any reducer to mix the paint. So I said, screw it. We can't paint it tonight. So I'll be painting this uh, this coming week. Tomorrow, I'm going to go buy some materials. Um, I did buy some materials. I spent like 600 bucks uh, a few days ago in buying some candies because I want to start showing you guys all types of shit with candy. Like I haven't been shooting with candy for a while and I want to shoot some candy so here is the candy list the materials that i bought the other night we got lime gold all house of color all house of color products we got lime gold uh we got candy teal we got tangerine urethane uh tangerine candy we got oriental blue we got organic green and we got a purple candy called burple all right, so each quart, you can see some of the pricing here. Let me, let me hold on, guys. What's up, Barbara? Oh, and I also got some brandy wine from eBay. So if we look at the pricing here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, it's, it comes out to about $73 a quart for most of them, $74 a quart now, one quart. And $82 for the tangerine 
uh, one quart. And then I also got brandy wine from another source for 59 bucks on sale. So the brandy wine, actually that was supposed to be over a hundred bucks, but I got it for 59. So 493 plus another 60, uh, plus I got some other supplies and stuff. So about 600 and change, but I got, how many I got? One, two, three. I got seven different colors of candy. So we're gonna be able to do a lot of experimentation and a lot of cool shit with the candy that we, we're getting in soon um, over our metal flake and over all types of stuff. And it, I, it's gonna be fun. So I got another tank project here, right? We just got this in. Um, damn, I got no place to put it. I'll just put it on the ground here. Um, Honda Rebel gas tank. Brand new. Brand new. Okay, I just bought it. Brand new. Uh, but the paint job on it sucks. If we look at... <laughs> you guys are not going to believe the shitty paint job on this thing. If we look at, you can see the sand scratches in it. I don't know if you guys can see this, but sand scratches, you know, bad refinishing on this thing. It just looks like crap. Um, the pinstriping, they didn't even, it, it's not even clean, you know, cleanly done, right? But it's a good foundation to play with. So this one here, I am gonna custom custom paint. We're gonna do metal flake candy, metal flake and candy on this one as well, but a different design, different color, right? I got another motorcycle tank coming in. I'm gonna weld a plate here and drill a hole because we're turning this into a, a lamp. This is gonna be a lamp as well. Mine, this is my personal one that I wanna keep is gonna be a lamp. Um, and then I have another couple of tanks coming. I'm making these as gifts for people, um, friends of mine that I've been wanting to do for a while. So we're gonna be making a bunch of motorcycle tank lamps um, to give away to people that I like, uh, family members. So that's the plan and I'll be recording the whole process. And uh, yeah, we can make them as a mailbox as well, but I got a big brick mailbox in the front of my house. I can't really use it as a mailbox. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, so that's that. And I hope you guys enjoy the series. We got a lot of videos gonna be coming out. Um, we got all these metal flakes that we're gonna be using. You know, guys, it wouldn't be worth me selling them because the amount of time that I put into this thing to sell to make a few hundred dollars profit, it's not worth it. I would rather give it to somebody that I know, right? That they'll keep it forever in their home and remember me every time they look at it. Like, wow, man, Tony made that for me. You know what I mean? I would rather do that and have that than to sell it for a, what do you, what, how much profit are you gonna make? How much profit are you gonna make, really? The amount of time put into these things, right? Two hours here, two hours here, two hours here. Literally, I'm probably in this thing about four hours, almost five hours, four or five hours. You know, the striping alone, if you take your time with pinstriping, pinstriping can take two, three hours, just pinstriping it nicely right? Depending on how quick you are. And I rushed it. I pinstriped it and masked it up in less than two hours before I got on live with you to spray this thing uh, purple, right? Before we started doing that, that, that night last week. Um, so, you know, all in all, each tank, depending on how, because, you know, after you do the flake, then you got to clear it, then you got to sand it with 600 and maybe 800 again, six, 800, just to get it flat. Then you have to flow coat it. You gotta put two more coats of clear on it or three coats of clear on it, right? To fill all the, the little imperfections that the flake, cause the flake, if you're using big flake lump, like I'm doing there, you're gonna have a little bit of, um, it's not gonna be completely flat. You're gonna have some holes that you have to fill, some little pockets that you fill with clear coat. And then you're gonna have to cut and buff that. And then maybe if you have to, you'll flow coat it again for a total mint perfecto job. So you're looking at 10 hours, 10, at least 10 hours of work per tank. So 10 hours cost me, the tank I got on eBay for about 100 bucks roughly, just say 100. Materials probably at least another 100, so 250. So, and 10 hours of work. So what, what's somebody really gonna pay for it? What is somebody gonna pay for a custom lamp tank 
right? What, what would you pay? I wouldn't spend $400. Maybe if it looked cool, 400 or 500 maybe. So what am I making? $300 profit um, for 10 hours of work? That's $30 an hour? To me, it's not worth it. To me, it's not worth it. For some of you, yeah, maybe it's a good, hey, you guys can do these. Maybe you guys can do simple ones. You know, something simple where it only takes you five hours. You're doing a basic paint job. You're not doing candy. You're just doing two color. You know, you're doing the outline silver. You're doing silver. You're doing black or silver and blue or whatever, white and red. And you're doing the pinstripe and you're putting any custom decal they want. You're turning it into a lamp. You're flipping them for profit. That's a business. You guys can make money off that. If you can do that in three hours time, which I think is very doable, three hours each tank complete, Right With the build, once you start honing your craft and you know, all right, this is how we do it. These are the lamps we get, blah, 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 right? And you could probably make 200 profit, 250 profit. Hey, I don't know. There could be a market. But for me, I'm doing other things. I got no time for that. I'm just making, I'm just making these for family members for my place. I already gave one to my father-in-law in Japan years ago, and he like loves it. It's on his desk uh, in his office. He's an, he's an automotive enthusiast. So it's sitting well. I did a, a Harley design for him. Um, you know, with the Harley decal, I cleared over it. Anyway, that's the plan. I'm here just rambling. If you like the video, please give a quick like. But I will be doing full metal flake. So the plan is to basically black it out. We got black base. Black it out. Shoot the silver mini flake. Um, sand it. Clear coat it. Sand it down. Do our graphic, right? Pinstriping, however we want to do it. Do our little base coat graphic, right? On top of that, take it off, shoot candy on top of it, and it's going to be perfecto. So that's the plan. Um, we'll be having step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that. HD video, not these live stream type of videos, like better video um, with voiceover so you guys can see the whole process. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you're excited for that, let me know. It's finally starting to get warm. So now I'm actually coming out of my shell uh, to do some paint jobs over the course of the next couple of months. We're gonna be doing all kinds of shit. Uh, we got a demo card down there that we're gonna be doing some crazy, you know, I'm just gonna be, we're gonna be experimenting. I wanna go through the experimental phase of candies, colors, flakes, and pearls. I just wanna do that because you, you always can get a different look, right? It, it's art, it's basically art. You know, there's no limit to your imagination on what you can create as far as custom colors, um, candy variations, base coat variations, metal flake variations, and, and what, so we're just gonna have some fun. And I'm gonna show you all the process, the steps, how we do it, and all of that. Uh, I'm working on a sweet mailbox, that's awesome. It's fun to do this. I mean, I've had some of my VIP members uh, paint their Xboxes for themselves and for neighbors and charge and make a little bit of money, you know, doing like Xboxes. <laughs> it's crazy. So, uh, so yeah, man. Hope you guys are liking this so far. Hit the like button. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, if you're a total newbie, right, and you've, uh, you want to learn more about Auto Body, you know, just click the link right over here uh, to grab a free 85-page book or down below. Um, also, we just actually revamped the Learn Auto Body and Paint website. So, paint the world, yeah. So, if you guys want to check out the new website, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com now. It's brand new, revamped. It looks awesome. We got new logos. We got new shirts just came in, guys. Our shirts just came in, and these are VIP member shirts. So, you got to be a VIP to get them, but you can proudly wear them because they really look nice. You're going to start to see me wear them soon, not this Michael Jackson one. I got this Michael Jackson shirt when I was in Vegas a little while ago. Um, and uh, with, I saw the Michael Jackson show with my daughter and we just both got shirts. The show was awesome by Circus Soleil. Oh my God. There's a bunch of dancers and the music. It was phenomenal. Really good show they put on. Um, pros and cons of the X, the Atom spray guns, I think. I have no complaints on the X20. Um, the X21 had a small issue, but the new versions they're making now is fine. So 
and they're also coming out with the X27, which is a replica of the SADA 5000, which is, we are actually getting those probably in the next month. Uh, the shirts, I don't have them right now. They got to mail them to me. They're, they came in to my, uh, my warehouse in New York, but they have to ship them to me. So we, we got them on customink.com, beautiful shirts. Um, and we also got mugs for the people at the pub. <laughs> we got beer mugs, guys. Glass beer mugs. Uh, high volume, low pressure versus low volume. So uh, low volume, low pressure is more for spraying uh, clear coat on really well. If you want to, you know, guys, honestly, there is a difference between high volume and low, especially if you have, if you're running an uh, air tank with low, low volume, you want to use the low volume spray guns, but the low volume spray guns spray clear coats really well. They lay them on really, really well. That's like the SADA RP versions they have. It's, it's like a low volume, low pressure style. Um, you can spray base coat out of that too. You can spray both out of that and not have any issues. I've sprayed, I used to spray with the SADA RP for years and that's considered a low volume, low pressure spray gun. I used to spray base and clear coat with it and get amazing results all the time. Um, High volume, low pressure is supposed to be more for base coat shooting. So if you're the anal type or if you want to be like by the book and be like, yeah, you know, some people don't care. Some people just say like, give me a spray gun, HLVP, low volume, whatever, I'll spray to come out great. You know, kind of like how I am, you know, give me any gun, I'll make it, I'll spray to come out good. But, you know, by the book wise, high volume, low pressure is for base coats. The RP, the MP, the, the um, Atom MP um, is, uh, is for clear coat. Low volume, low pressure, clear coat. So that's pretty much the difference. But you can get, you can still get great finishes using either or with base and clear coat. You really can. And I've done it. So I'm not just telling you that for the sake of telling you. It's the truth. Um, so that's that. So, uh, other than that, guys, I mean, what else, what else is going on? I ordered a bunch of fine line tape off of eBay. I got new ones coming, um, in the box, $10 a roll. Not too bad. I got a Iwata 400. Iwatas are great guns, man. I used to spray with, uh, Iwatas a lot. And I still have one of my older ones right here. This is the W100. Um, oh, here is the Atom X27, which is the clone of the SADA 5000. We'll be getting these very soon. This gun, oh my God. I'm probably going to spray some of this stuff with this gun. And um, what else? And, uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. High five. All right, cool. So... Um, other than that, guys, I think I am going to head out. You know, I just wanted to give you an update on this stuff. We're going to be redoing this because the, the, the finish on here is absolutely horrible. So I'm going to get a heat gun. Is this in the clear coat? Oh, this looks like it's in the clear coat. They cleared over this decal. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to get my DA out and just sand this out. Sand that out. Sand this out because this was all cleared over. This wasn't, this is just on the surface. I can just peel this off with a heat gun. I'll heat it up quick and just peel it. Yeah, it's already starting to come off. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> and then what I'll do is 2K prime this, two, three coats, and then block sand it out uh, for a perfecto. That's all it needs. It just needs to be sanded, 2K primed, no Bondo or filler, anything like that. It just needs to be uh, 2K primed and, and filled these little sand scratches all in here. Right. This one I'll give to my brother <laughs> because it's a lot bigger as well. I, I don't want something so huge. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys. So if you're a total newbie, you want to grab a downloadable book, click right there. Learn all about epaint.com. Go down below. Uh, we'll be sending you a lot of videos. What's up, Tony? 
which Adam gun should I get for primer? I would go with the X20 and make sure you get the 2.0 tip. 2.0 tip. This way your primer comes out nice and heavy without any problems. <clears throat> um, so that's pretty much it. Any other Q&A, guys, quickly before I get off? Any Q&A for newbies out here or anybody? Any quick Q&A? If not, I'm going to head off. I got to do a couple of things with my web team. When will the guns go on sale? Actually, there's a sale ending tonight. <laughs> if you go to Zula.com, Z-O-O-L-A-A.com, um, and you check it out, we're actually they're giving away a free cleaning kit and a free filter uh, when you buy any spray gun at Zula.com. And that sale ends tonight. Tomorrow it's not going to be there. Can you spray flake out of low volume? You can. Absolutely you can. Um, but just depending on your flake size, depending on your flake size, you may need bigger tips, of course. I am going to spray out of my <clears throat> 1.4 tip. And I believe this is a 00, zero what size is this? 008. I'm pretty sure this is a, a number eight flake. It looks pretty fine. Uh, this is actually a flake by X Finishes. Um, it was a, it's a three ounce, 85 grams of pearl. This is a flake. This is actually going to be more than, way more than enough. <clears throat> and then we got, I mean, there's all kinds of flake we got. I, I was even thinking maybe we should just do a uh, rainbow flake. We got rainbow flake here. What's up, David? What's up, Jason? We got gold flake. So I basically want to test out all this stuff over all these motorcycle tanks that we're going to be getting and doing, um, the car outside that we're going to be testing on. Rainbow. Because <laughs> I just want to play around with it. Like, so I just stocked up on a bunch of candy. We got all the flakes here from X Finishes. We actually, we even got pearls. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. What is this? Oh, this is Rainbow Flake right here. This is House of Color Mini Flake that I bought. I literally bought this can, guys. I would say I was probably maybe 17 years old when I bought this, and I still have some left over. Yeah, man. Pretty cool stuff. Uh... So yeah, so I got my HD camera here. I'll be taking a lot of video footage for you guys <clears throat> on these projects here. So, uh, oh, I got my cup of coffee here. I don't know if you guys like Tupac, but I always like Tupac, man. Dude's the man. He's dead, but he's the man. Any of you guys in here know Gene Winfield? I'm changing a car's color. Should I prime the entire car or just sand it down with 320, then wet sand force the base? Um, it depends on what color you plan to paint over. So what color is your car now? Because if it's like a silver or white, you could pretty much, <clears throat> you could pretty much, uh, what's in the back of the orange and black car? Oh. These tanks, <clears throat> motorcycle tanks, that we're going to be doing some custom flake paint jobs on. This is just sanded with 800 right now. And this is just brand new. We're going to be sanding it down. The flake is mixed with clear. Well, the flake, technically, the flake should be mixed with intercoat. So you don't get the sagging. Going from yellow to diamond pearl white. I don't think you ha you're going to have a problem. If your yellow is, is a good paint job and it has good clear coat on it, you could literally just 400 that. Like I'm saying, if it's a nice yellow paint job, if it's a nice yellow, you could just 400 it and paint your white base right on top of it. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to put primer on it unless you have a lot of body work. Yeah, so this is a, this is a Lamborghini right here. It's a LP550-2. It's a very rare model that uh, they made. This is the only Lamborghini that comes with a two-wheel drive in the back. 
all Lamborghinis now are all four-wheel drive, which sucks because you can't really burn rubber and spin the tail out. With this sucker, you can. So it's a special edition. I don't know if you see it in here. It's a bi-color special edition Lambo where the top is, was basically original like this. I'm loving it. You taught me a lot from your video. Awesome, guy, man. I'm, I'm happy. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and here is the beast. It's a beast. And here is the other beast. <laughs> I'm still going to be painting the top black, by the way. Right? I'm going to be painting the top black. And the mirrors are going to be gloss black. So I have this thing for sale, but I'm not really getting any major offers for it. Some guy offered me 8,500 and I turned them. I just, to me, it's not worth it. I might just sit on it. It's not like I'm desperate right now and I need the cash. Um, yeah, I'm on Facebook, Tony Bandalos. Guys, you guys can find me on Instagram. I just started a new Instagram under Tony Bandalos. I had the Tony Ritchie one, but that's for a different business that I'm doing. That's like totally different. I also coach people how to start online businesses and do, you know, I coach seven figure entrepreneurs on internet marketing, um, not just YouTube marketing, but internet marketing. That's like what I do in the back end. Um, and that's my Tony Ritchie brand. Um, but my Tony Bandalos is more the painting cars, car modification type of stuff. So follow me on Instagram, Tony Bandalos, B-A-N-D-A-L-O-S. I'm on Facebook, Tony Bandalos as well. I'm not a huge Facebooker, but, uh, you know, you can't do everything, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, what else? David, David, are you still on? How are you doing, man? Are you, are you, uh, David, I'm starting a new coaching program that you might be interested in that basically holds you more accountable and getting things done. Because I know a handful of my members, they got the program, they're going through it, but they're just not following through because they're just, they don't have the push. Nobody's really pushing them on like live like this to really get things done, you know? So we are doing a new coaching program where we're doing live video twice a month and, um, and guiding you through the process. So I don't know if you know, you're looking to do that or just reach out to me, man. I mean, I'm here to talk to you as well. If you want to talk to, you know, just email me. Like I tell all my original members of my other programs, like I'm not that far away. If you guys really want to reach me, send me an email because I'm on the other end. Right now I'm hoaching, I'm hoaching. Right now I'm hoaching. <laughs> God, I wonder what that means. And check out my new welding helmet. Yeah, that's me, I wanna get it started. I just got this welding helmet, pretty cool. Cheap, 25, 28 bucks I got it for. Auto dimming. So David, um, I'm actually moving email services as well, so I'm gonna make sure to put you in my TCS program customer list. Um, just so I can update you on the new things going on because man, I really want you guys to become successful. I'm coaching, not hoaching. I'm coaching a credit repair expert right now on building his online business. And he is taking so much action. He's freaking blowing it up. I've never seen anybody take so much action in my life. And it's like, wow, this guy is the perfect client. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, you want to join, join what learn auto body or, or my, uh, online mentoring coaching program. <clears throat> so we're doing a lot of things, guys. We're doing a lot of things, um, planning out some major campaigns across, uh, YouTube. You need credit help, dude. This guy that I'm working with, he is amazing. He knows everything you need to know about personal credit repair and, um, business credit. This dude's an expert. He is a genius. You talk to him, you ask him any question about repairing your credit, personal credit, this dude can do it. Like I don't have any credit issues, so I, I don't need his advice, but this dude, man. So what I'm going to be doing soon is I'm going to be, um, in my emails, 
I'm gonna send you guys a link because I told him I would promote him. He needs to put a little bit more videos on his YouTube channel. He has about eight videos now. I told him put about 20 good content videos on his YouTube and I will promote him to my audience. And he's super excited about that because I know a lot of people, you know, it's embarrassing to have bad credit. You know, you're trying to apply for something. You're trying to get a credit card. You're trying to maybe even rent a home or get approved for something. And you can't because you got shit credit. This guy knows how to fix your credit or have you, you could fix it yourself and do it very inexpensively. And this guy's freaking good. And he has the, the testimonials to back it up. He's not a, a fake dude, you know what I mean? So I'll be sending you his link very soon in one of my VIP emails or the auto body newsletter emails. So if you're not subscribed, if you are subscribed, you get my email. So if you're not, go here, download the free book and you'll also be on our Learn Auto Body and Paint newsletter where I send you uh, reminders on um, new videos that we put up, new content in the VIP members area, um, product review, you know, everything, everything. So jump on that newsletter um, as well. Sandy, what's up, Sandy girl? Hey, you wanna know something funny, guys? If you go to Google and you type in fat beagle, you're gonna get like 100 fat beagle pictures. You go to Google and you type in fat German shepherd, there's like one or two fat German shepherd pictures. It's so funny because people used to tell me, Tony, beagles eat like crazy. And I never really wanted to get a beagle. My wife fell in love with the beagle. My daughter wanted a beagle. But this freaking dog eats, eats like a dog. <laughs> like anything you feed her, she will eat. So she's actually on a diet right now. She's not even a year old. She's gonna be a year old next month. Right, and she's on a diet. She's looking okay now, right? Before she didn't have this group, this indenture here where her stomach, it was like freaking, dog was getting fat and unhealthy, man. So I said, no more food twice a day, once a day at night only. Cause I remember I used to feed my shepherd that I grew up with once a day. He only used to eat at night, you know, dog food and canned food mixed up. We used to give him chicken gizzards, um, boiled chicken gizzards. He used to love that but she's on a diet, but she eats good. We have, we have uh, chickens at home here and we get about six to seven fresh eggs a day. So every once in a while, we'll give her a fresh egg. She loves it, fresh raw egg. She just gulps it right down. <laughs> right, Shandy girl, right, Shandy girl. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm just sharing. Just sharing it out here, just sharing it out. Oh, this is, this is my Hawaii vanity plate. You see how it says Tony? But if you look at it the other way, it says 21, why not? But it's really supposed to be Tony 21 because my birth date is the 21st. What's going on? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna head out. Um, it's getting, I gotta get some work done. So I will be tuned. I had a beagle on my paper route that used to chase my ass off the property, wow. Wish I had, I wish my beagle was like that. This beagle is, is just a beagle, man. Just a hungry beagle. Later guys, I'm heading out. I'll be on next week this time. And most likely you'll see this thing already painted with, with uh, black and metal flake. All right, peace out.